everybody has that one burning question that they ask at least once or twice in their life and that is what is my purpose what am I meant to be doing in this world and they ask this in the middle of work or if they're studying for something that they're not even sure they want to pursue or if they're just simply feeling unfulfilled and I think that it is important to understand what our soul path is but more importantly how can we be aligned with our soul's path now I would like to start by acknowledging that you are not your body you are not even your mind the thoughts that you think the way you analyze your decisions you are not even your emotions, how you feel, what brings you joy, what you are uncomfortable with. Those are simply tools to get you to your soul's path. So who you truly are in the deepest core is your soul. Before incarnating here on earth, your soul, your oversoul, has already pre-planned, predestined what your life is going to be like. And so that really cheesy, annoying saying that everything is perfect and that you are exactly where you're meant to be, how can you accept that? How can you feel good about that when you are going through so much pain, suffering, discomfort, it's so, so irritating to even hear that, right? But because we decided to come here on Earth, on Earth school, we agreed to come here and to learn our lessons. You see, the purpose of life ultimately, generally, is to evolve spiritually is for your soul to evolve spiritually and you can only do so by experiencing life and learning your lessons and really gathering all the insights and knowledge that life has to offer and you choose the type of topic or subject that you would like to learn before coming here on earth right and so how do we learn these lessons then i'm gonna start by defining karma what is karma and how can we transcend off of this wheel of karma the cycle of karma that keeps us stuck from being our ultimate highest self and the highest potential of our soul's destiny karma as many of us think karma is usually I'm just waiting for a plane to pass by <laughs> It's, it is a beautiful day. I'm so happy that the sun is finally out after so many days of rain and storm and thunder. Although those are special days, you know. The rain and the thunder and, and the dark is still spe special because those are the times that you learn. Those are the times to hibernate, to seclude yourself and to really do your shadow work, get yourself a hot chocolate, and feel your feelings, right? Similarly, karma is the way that we learn things. Many people think that karma is, to, is the consequences of your actions. It is. Karma is the consequences of your actions words behavior but so if it is your the consequences of your decisions then it would only be a lesson 
because if you get to experience the results and the outcome of your deeds it ultimately becomes a lesson for you to decide this is what I want to continue be, continue to be doing based on how I feel about the result and the outcome or not and once you have learned as many lessons as you, as you have to clear this karma you know from your soul's lineage or your ancestral DNA patterns belief systems redefining yourself once you transcend off of the wheel of karma you are able to experience your Dharma now Dharma there are many like there are so many ways to interpret Dharma some people think that Dharma is what you're meant to be doing in this life and I would say that what I mostly resonate with Dharma being is the right way to live the right way that your own unique individual soul has determined has pre-planned for you to live the right way to live the way that is not of discomfort not of pain not of unfortunate outcomes and emotions but more more of a state of flow more like a state of flow more like a state of ease and surrender and happiness of least resistance and we were given the gift of free will along with our soul's path and this is how we learn we learn by making better decisions for ourselves so then you would say if we are going to choose the good the good choices that does that mean that we would be on our soul's path that then contradicts that everything is perfect and you're exactly where you're meant to be I hear you I know I know but I'm here to say that you are always on your soul's path you are always on your soul's path whether it feels good or not how you move along is your choice so you are always on your soul's path let's call this the soul's path let's call this your path okay and and there there you are <laughs> now you can choose to be going this way you know if, if you're operating life through your higher chakras you're a bit too spiritual too much faith too intuitive too passive you know too much in dreamland you're not taking too much action there would be something missing or you could choose to operate from the lower chakras a bit too materialistic too superficial too much pleasure uh, too logical you know not really having the higher wisdom and not really lacking that connection with the universe the cosmos and God you can you can like stumble and fall and learn what makes you uncomfortable you can learn about your preferences in life and and move along until you finally come into balance and walk your soul's path so you are always on your soul's path whether you know it or not and 
how you experience it is up to you. And so that means that your emotions and even your mind and your way of thinking, do I like thinking this way? Do I like feeling this way? That is your navigation. That is your nav navigation to finally come into balance and head straight on your soul's path. Now, a lot of us, unfortunately, believe the soul path to be an occupation or something that I need to be doing in order to make money, a job, okay, or a business, a business title, a profession. <laughs> unfortunately, due to our upbringing and conditioning, that is our ultimate. But the universe and God and your soul speaks in energy. And so you don't even have to be doing anything. You don't even need to have an occupation in order for you to fulfill your soul's path. If that was not what you were called to do, if that's that was not what was destined for you. So if as an example, it would be me as a life path nine. Uh, one of the biggest lessons I had to learn in my karmic lineage and one of the karmic energies I've had to transcend is resentment and my soul had to learn in this lifetime how to embody more more forgiveness and through that being in service to the world as a humanitarian in whatever way I preferably choose to but the energy of forgiveness that simply can be someone's soul's path and so you can observe your life path number your soul path number your destiny number everything is energy and so you have your own unique energetic blueprint based on your astrology you know based on what was written in the stars on your birth chart is where you can start to understand for us humans that need to understand we can check our birth charts and in order to embody the energy that is required to follow your soul's path that would be your north star and your north star is your north node in your birth chart for example my north node is sagittarius and Sagittarius is all about travel, experience, uh, spiritual lessons, uh, journey, the bigger picture. And so in order to get to learning the lessons of forgiveness and, and letting go of resentment, I had to be willing to embody the energy of Sagittarius for, for myself. <laughs> So that is an example how you can also intellectually understand how to really navigate your way to your soul's path. Uh, you do not need to know anything about the stars. You don't need to study astrology. You do not need to really, because your soul is always with you because you are your soul. One of the main things you need to be doing is listening to yourself, really listening to how you feel, really observing everything you're doing and are you happy? Are you happy with it? Because your soul knows exactly what you want before you even know what you want. I hope that helped. I hope that helped bring light and some insights along your path.
I love you very much. Thank you for watching. I'll see you hopefully on another pick a card or another video like this. <laughs> Bye everyone.